hello good morning welcome welcome to the channel thank you for joining so today um we will be looking uh, at um we will be looking at um public universities in brazil i'm sorry pardon me okay public universities free free absolutely free public universities in brazil the list of public universities she's saying hello to you guys yeah they can see you she's blowing you guys a kiss <laughs> Anyway, so um, list of public okay. universities in Brazil. Um, I will be if you have applied for the GCB scholarship in Brazil, that's absolutely good. But if you feel that you don't, um, if you feel that you want to have more options, okay. If you, I'm so sorry, eh? They are not, they are on holiday, so there's nothing I can do right now. You see that? You see that? Okay, now enough now. Enough, enough, enough. They've seen you. Mm. Anyway, so if you've applied for the GCB scholarship, that's good. And uh, But if you feel... Oh, God. But if you feel that you, you want more options, like should in case you're not selected or just to, feel, to be on the safe side, you can also apply to individual universities. But just make sure that whatever university you're applying to individually does not collide with the um, universities you have applied for in the GCEB program, okay. So make sure they are not the, they are not um, you are not applying to the same school you've applied to in the other GCEB um, scholarship, okay. Now, so uh, like I said, this video is practically about um, giving you guys the list of public universities you can explore. All right, I will be putting it somewhere around. All right, check my description box below. You will see a couple of a lot of schools that you can check. Okay, you can you can. I'm so sorry, guys. <sighs> Yeah, a couple of schools that you can check. Just check through the admissions going on right now. I always say admissions begin from April, May, June, July, August, up until September, okay? In Brazil, in different schools. Different schools have different timings when they decide to or choose to uh, publish uh, or to indicate that they need students to apply in, all right? So another thing is if you've missed the GCB scholarship, if you missed the GCB scholarship, if you missed applying to the GCB scholarship, so if you if you if you missed um, applying to if you missed applying to through the GCB scholarship, admission is currently still going on in individual schools. Okay, all you need to do is go through all the schools I'll be putting in my description box below. Um, you will definitely find one or two courses to apply to in various schools just take the time i know it, it can be stressful going through all the schools applying to them and doing all that you're supposed to do but it is worth it at the end of the day so you you just need to be patient and do what you have to do for yourself to you know to give yourself a better life right so for the master's program most of the schools require that you most of the schools require that you write a pre-project okay even the doctorate degree um uh, doctorate degree master's degree and uh, uh, I don't think so for undergraduate, but I think I know so well for master's degree and undergrad, uh, master's degree and PhD, you'll be required to write a pre-project. Like it's not a full project, but it's like a plan of your project, a plan to show what you will be doing or how you'll be carrying out your project at the end of your studies, okay? So most of them require that. And a lot of schools also, most schools require that you write your uh, um write your um most schools do not require portuguese language okay very few very few yes require portuguese language and most of the schools will tell you to write a project either in portuguese spanish yes portuguese spanish um or, in or english in some cases i have even seen a case of german okay you can write in german spanish portuguese or english but most of the time they always mention english portuguese and spanish all right so do not be afraid of Portuguese language skills or all those things. It is very, it is in a, in, it is in a very rare case that you see that schools ask you to bring Portuguese, uh, uh, Portuguese um, certification to be able to go get the admission. Okay, a lot of schools now in Brazil are beginning to consider, you know, taking in students that speak English, Spanish, or Portuguese. All right, your, um, your, um, your learning will definitely be in Portuguese language. Your your lecturer will speak Portuguese, uh, but then you will be allowed to, in most cases, you'll be allowed to do your assessments um, and your 
exams or if you have exams but most of the time assessments exams and even your and even your presentations in english language or whatever language you are able to speak between spanish portuguese and english all right so don't be afraid of the language in some cases some schools re will require you to produce or provide the Eng uh, portuguese language within a year of you studying in the school so that means you have to brush up your portuguese they will allow you to go to school you'll be fine but you have to brush up your portuguese write the portuguese language and then you provide them with a certificate at the end of one year of your study in some cases some schools would even enroll you to a one-year portuguese language you learn the language properly first and then after a year then you begin the normal proper class so those are the preparations that the brazilian universities have put down now to be able to cope the idea of or the fear of the language thing for international students okay for those of you that don't know it is absolutely free to study mama mama what happened what happened okay you want to stand okay stand 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 it's okay it's okay enjoy yourself it is absolutely free i'm so sorry it is free to study in portuguese for international students for everybody national international citizens non-citizens foreigners residing here in brazil it is free to study in brazil so all you need to do is go through the schools i will be providing there are a lot of them some of them with links some of them without links just take your time it's worth it okay studying for free and if you're very fortunate a lot of schools also grant scholarships without the gcv because it is still individual schools that came together to form the uh gcub yes to form the gcub uh scholarship thing so they still give scholarships if they are not going to be able to give you scholarship you might be on a roll to get scholarship and then when it's your turn they let you know that you've gotten the scholarship when it's your turn all right so there is absolutely um scholarship available in different universities you might get it immediately you might get it along the way along the as, as you study you, they will tell you this is your number they'll let you know what number you are in your in your scholarship application they let you know and then um yeah that's it so please a list of schools i will be putting in my description box uh brazilian um, universities public universities they are absolutely free go through them admission is going on now like up until september it started since like april may june july this is still all this is the july there's still august this is september there is still time and chance for you to go through the schools and find yourself other courses you want to apply to remember i said if you've missed the, if you've missed the scholarship gcb scholarship program there is still chance for you to get into individual schools in brazil i'm so sorry apply through individual schools in brazil and then also if you didn't meet the scholarship program you can also start applying into individual schools uh in brazil right now so check my description box below for all the universities i put there listed there you know explore as many as you can and get yourself that um that admission that you've always wanted thank you so much for watching yes thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video all right have an amazing day i'm so sorry for the mess okay it's a, it's so messy have an amazing day everybody <laughs> bye bye no please say bye